Today I wanted to look at this uh, Corbin Russwin. Works very smoothly. Um, it says JM on the back, and previously I did not realize that's Mr. Jeff Moss. Uh, because I was when I did the package opening, it says it on the back here too. Um, I didn't know for sure who JM was. I knew Jeff. Uh, I obviously I've seen Jeff Moss, but I didn't. I didn't know if it was JM Murdy or. Jeff Moss, or there's quite a few JMs out there, I guess, but, uh, but yeah, no, works very smooth, so, um, my bad on that one, <laughs> but it is a, a Corbin Russ one, challenge lock, so I thought I would take a look at it, see what we got in it, um, I've never picked a Jeff Moss lock before, so, sure I'm in for a treat, uh, Corbin Russ, I should be able to get my and I'm working off this ledge up here, so I'm not going to bother putting anything in the bottom. Uh, I see my 50 fits in there. It does. I think. Okay. All right. Zoom in for you guys. See what we got going on here. I'm going to go in very light tension because it is a challenge lock. Stuck on pin six there. All right, I got very light tension. Got to click out of six, five. I don't know how many pins. I think it's probably five. One, two, three, four, five. Key showing five, but it could be six. All right, not getting anything here. Okay, I felt like I overset three. Not getting a whole lot of feedback from this lock. Okay, there's a click. Good one. Mm, wow, I felt like I overset that one. I got clicked out of four, I think. Five seems or three seems solid. Two seems solid. Okay, got clicked out of one. Couple clicked out of one. On the floor here. Underneath him. Not getting a whole lot of feedback. Everything feels solid. Let's tighten up my vice a little bit here. Oh, overset. Big time. You know what? I'm going to try going counterclockwise. Okay, I got to click out of four, three. Couple clicks out of one. Oh, got a nice false set there off four. Counter on two or one. Don't know, somewhere in the front here. Got a nice click and off of him. Got a little bit back on that false set off of five, and I'm getting counter off of him. Mm, click, but I lost my false set. Looks like we have a gatekeeper here somewhere, maybe. I'm going to try to get that back. Mm, yeah, that or just overset him, but that felt like a pretty solid click. Mm, I think I overset. I'm going to let off and let something drop.
Okay, let something else drop. Got a click out of three. One click out of three. Click out of four and got a little rotation on the core. Click out of three. Tricky lock. Swipe. Ah, no, we're set. Pull that off and let it back. There we go. Okay, click out of four. Three, couple clicks out of one, three, I'd say there's definitely serrated pins in this, another click out of one, oh, nice deep false set, out one, okay. Counter on two, and it's open. Wow, that is a tricky lock. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, it is picked. Wow, great job. Okay. Wow, we're five minutes on that one. Six minutes, yeah. It's a good lock. All right. Um, let's get this thing gutted. Wow. All right, Corbins have great tight tolerances anyway, so I think they're pretty good locks to make challenge locks out of. So, what do we got here? Screw you. All right. Okay. Not liking that screwdriver. There we go. Tip this off. Pick. I'm going to throw sideways, throw a shim in there just in case if I need to come back. Any more? I'm shimming everything. That one will work. Pens up though. And it is. Awesome. And it is a six pen. And um, three didn't take much to lift. That was part of that. But really good. Nice, nice smooth. Let's see what we got in here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we'll take a closer look at all that. Uh, nothing done to the core. So, <laughs> looks like all standard pins in the bottom, too. So, all the magic's upstairs. So, let's see what kind of magic there is. What kept me out here? I'm guessing it's, uh, serrated here. That's uh, a barrel serrated. Catholic style pin. And a nice looking spool. Wow, beautiful work on that. Serrated spool. Oh, hold on, let me get my shim out of the way. Back, and we'll get three. Three is a short, very sharp serrated pen. Four is another <laughs> very serrated pen, but that was in like that. 
Um, that's interesting. I don't know that I would have put it in like that, but that's how it came out. Let me know if you see this, Jeff, if that's the way that you wanted it in there or not. I know these things get mixed around a lot. And five, oh, five popped out on me. But it was a spool. That's good. Six. Six is, I don't know if that was six. Five is just barely poking over the shear line there. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, so. Get five out. It's uh stuck to a spring. <laughs> All right, and it's a it's a spool, beautiful spool. I don't think it was supposed to be stuck to the spring. Wound up on. It. But, wow, nice looking spool there too. All right, um, let me go ahead and get these out. So you know. Six. They're all three is the only one that stayed in. Get him out too. Might as well. I do with my All the three. Okay, three's not coming out, guys. But uh, nothing done upstairs either. So just the awesome pinning of Jess Ma to make this lock a, a tough, tough lock. My gosh. All right, let's do a close up of these pins and uh, we will take a look at this. In one, we had a standard uh, steel pen. Uh, two was another standard. Three was another standard. Four was another standard. Five was another standard. And six was the standard. All standards on the bottom. On the top, we had that uh, Asa style uh, uh, serrated on two ends. Really good pen. Uh, then a beautiful serrated spool with a very sharp edge. Uh, then a uh, another one of those one serration... Uh, awesome pens. Uh, then a uh, awesome serrated pen there. And then uh, uh, five was a spool, a uh, serrated spool, and six was a standard spool. Uh, but those are the pens in this awesome lock. Uh, thank you, Zombie, for sending it to me. Thank you, jo Jeff uh, Moss, for making it. Um, really good lock for, I mean, less is more with this. No threading, but, but wow. Um, just, just some good choices of penning. So, uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching and don't break the law.